Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be working on a 98XR400. I'm going to swap out the front forks. The current forks that are on it, uh, the, the, there's damage on the stanchion tube, so I'm going to just take them out and swap them with a pair I got off of eBay. Um, I may get down to rebuilding these at another point, but for now I'm just going to swap them out. Also, I'm going to install a handlebar riser. I'm 6 of 4, so riding with a stock handlebar height is not terribly enjoyable. Uh, so I'm putting a 3 quarter inch riser on to raise the handlebars up a little bit so I can uh, ride standing up a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, that's it, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the brake caliper. Uh, in this case, I loosened up the wheel, um, the clamps that hold the wheel on. So loosen up both sides of that. I didn't take it off completely yet because I need to remove the wheel caliper. Uh, also, what else? Uh, there's the brake line clamp that's part way up the forks here. That needs to be removed as well. So for now, we're just we're just taking off the uh, loosening up the four bolts. With those bolts loose, we are going to remove the brake caliper. There are two bolts that hold the brake caliper in. Um, it comes loose pretty easy, and you may find that once you get the bolts loose, the brake caliper, you may need to spread the brake caliper a little bit with a screwdriver. That's what I do uh, once I get the bolts out here. Um, the, the rotor has a little bit of a lip from wear, and I haven't gotten around to replacing that yet, so the brake caliper doesn't want to come off. So I grab a screwdriver, stick it in between the the brake disc and one of the brake shoes and just put a little pressure on it which forces the piston back into the into the caliper and opens up the, the caliper enough so that you can pull the caliper off. With the caliper off now comes the brake line clamp. These are eight millimeter bolts. There's two of them. Just pull them loose. Take note of how the, the clamp is put on there. You're going to put it back on the same way. The bolts go through the plastic and then both sides of the clamp attach on the on the wheel side of this clamp. If you don't have one you really should. Uh, if they break, the one that when I bought this bike this was busted. Um, so I ended up buying a new one. They're not terribly expensive. I forget what they cost. but. Settle those parts off to the side. Put that out of the way. I just I just set the brake caliper off to the side, and then remove the wheel clamps the rest of the way. They come off fairly easy. Um, it depends on how you ride. The ends of your uh, bolts might be smashed a little bit if you run into stuff. Um, so I end up using a, a socket. I believe if I remember right, these are a 10 millimeter. With the nuts off, the wheel clamps come off fairly easily. You just wiggle them a little bit, pull them off. With those off, you can pop the wheel out and just set it off to the side. Next step is removing the brake cable clamp. Or, not removing it, but you, you don't have to do this while this is on the bike. Uh, I took the bolt out and just set it off to the side here. Um, you can wait until the forks come off completely because you can't get that clamp off until the fork is off the bike. Take the bolt out and set it on the, on the side with the rest of the bolts. For now, I'll come back to it later. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is loosen up the lower clamps on the forks. Uh, there's two bolts on each side. Um, loosen up one side, loosen up the other side. You don't have to take the bolts all the way out. If you just loosen them up enough, so that you can spread the the clamps, then that's good enough. So with the bottoms loosened up, switch to the top, loosen up the top bolts. Now mine, the bolts that I've got on mine um, are long enough to mount my, my light mount here, which is a couple of aluminum blocks with a flat bar that's a quarter inch by two inches or an inch and a half, I think. Um, anyway, we loosen them up all the way, uh, but don't take them out. That way you can also spread the upper clamps. 
for this side as well. It's fairly fairly simple. Um, and then with those loose, I've already got the other side loose on this one. With those loose, um, grab a small screwdriver or pry bar and uh, wedge it in the in the crack in the in the clamps. Spread it, and then you can twist the fork, and the fork will just drop out. So, as you can see, there's at the top of the forks there, you'll notice there's some uh, marker lines. When you reinstall the forks, make sure that those marker lines are the same depth. Um, or that the, the forks go into the clamps the same distance. So, if the right-hand side has only one, one mark showing above the clamp, the other side should also have one line showing above the clamp to make sure that your wheel stays aligned um, and that you don't have any weird steering or, or alignment issues. So now with the forks both out, you can um, spread the, the brake clamp. It just slides off the end and then put it back on the other fork that you're replacing it with. Um, make sure that you get the, the right fork. This should be on the, the fork with the caliper mount. Uh, not on the other fork So that's pretty much all we have to do. Um, I already removed the seal savers that I have on this uh, in this particular uh, Install I put the seal savers back on uh, because I wanted to test the bike. I ordered some standard. Oh here you can see the 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 wear on the stanchion tube that was causing the oil leak so I'll be replacing that tube uh, and then have a spare set but the seal savers I, I have mixed feelings about them they seem to work reasonably well but they also seem to wear out faster than the uh, the standard um, protectors that go on there the ones that are like an accordion shape so I ordered a set of uh, the accordion shaped um, tube protectors and I will be installing those uh, when they come in, but for now, I'm just putting the the seal savers back on um, If you have the accordion style then go ahead and Slide those on before you put the forks on and use zip ties or clamps whatever you have to go ahead and um, And make sure those things are secure so they don't slide off the tube. I'm just using yeah, Zip ties because that's what I have Um they just clamp down tight enough. I pull these off enough that zip ties work fine. Um, so, otherwise, I'd probably buy some clamps and just clamp them on. So with the zip ties on uh, on these, you don't need to put them on the top on 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 the steel savers because they just slide up and down the tube. Um, but with those in place, don't forget to put the, the bolt in the um, brake line clamp. I think I do that afterwards here. So you may need to spread these clamps, slide the, the fork back in, and then wiggle it up. Um, I think I when I installed these, I put it to the first mark. Uh, if you want them to go higher, you're welcome to do that. Um, but I just did it to the first mark at the top of the tube there. And when I release the, the, um, when I, when I pull the screwdriver out of the, out of the clamp, then the tubes just stay in place. So there's, there's enough friction there to keep it in place until you tighten up the clamps. So this side is also the same. Just spread the clamps just enough to wiggle the tube in place. Um, then you have to spread the clamp at the top as well. Wiggle it in and make sure that the, the marks at the top of the, the stanchion tubes are, are aligned on both sides. Um, and the bottom end of these rotate freely, so you don't have to worry about aligning them because you can rotate them once they're, they're clamped down and the wheel will, will still clamp down just fine. So I had to readjust this side so they both line up. It's a little bit more complicated on this bike because I have the custom light mounts, but um, it should be 
fairly simple. So go ahead and tighten down the top. Um, you can get both sides, torque them down all the way, and then with those tight, you can switch to the bottom and uh, make sure that the bottom is tightened down nice and tight. The torque specs on these, I believe if I remember right, is 17 foot-pounds of torque uh, if you want to use a torque wrench. Um, if you don't have a shop manual for these bikes, I, I recommend that they're quite useful. I found mine on eBay fairly cheap, so just torque them down. Yeah, with those in place, the rest of it is fairly simple. You just line the, turn the bottom end of the fork so they're both facing forward. Put the wheel on, make sure that the brake disc is on the right side, and um, or left side if you're sitting on the bike, but make sure it's on the appropriate side of the bike. The clamps, once you get them lined up, the, the clamps just slide on, and Tighten down the nuts, four on each side. I can't remember offhand what uh, what the torque specs are for those bolts. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter socket, so don't overdo it. Do the same for the other side. It has an arrow. Make sure that the arrow is pointing up. and then torque those down as well. With those torqued in, the next step is to install the brake caliper. And uh, you can spread the caliper if you need to to get it to go on the disc. I do that with a screwdriver. Just stick it between the brake pads and just pry it just enough to give it a little extra room. Don't forget, if you spread the brake caliper, um, pump the brakes before you take off, uh, otherwise when you go to stop the first time you're going to grab a whole bunch of air. Um, you need to reprime the, the caliper by, by squeezing it three or four times. You uh, put, the, put the fluid back into the caliper. So you torque those down. And then the next step is tightening down the clamp for the brake line. Mine is a Allen screw, and the clamp, like once you get the, the fork clamp tightened down, don't overdo it, it's plastic, you take the uh, those two clamps, they go behind the plastic piece, and then the nuts have a wider head that goes through the plastic clamp so that you don't over torque on the plastic and crack it. So. Uh, make sure that you don't put too much brake line down on the bottom, otherwise you won't have enough uh, you won't have enough play in the brake line when you when your suspension goes to full droop, and uh, you can also have your brake line rub on the spokes, which wouldn't be good either. So at this point, we're switching to the um, the, the the brake. Um, sorry, the the fork replacement is done. Now I'm adding or putting the handlebar risers to help for my height. So this is really simple. These four bolts here, you just gotta loosen them up. Um, I have a bunch of stuff in the way. I have a GPS mount there. Um, I have my, my lights mounted in close. I mean my lights, my, my mirrors mounted in close. Um, so yeah, you just unbolt four bolts. And the kit that I bought, I got off, of, I think it was got it off of eBay. Uh, is about three quarters of an inch. So take these bolts out, set them off to the side because the kit comes with with longer bolts, which is nice. Uh, they're also Allen, the particular one that I got, so you'll need an Allen key to uh, tighten down the, the new bolts. Um, so with the, with the clamps out, just lift the handlebar up set the new risers in place. You can tell that handlebar used to be red. It's been, it was put on there years ago. So just line it up. You may have to wiggle it. I found that um, installing the, the clamps back in place, 
you have to line those little holes up just right uh, otherwise the bolt won't go through I mean which makes sense but I had to fiddle with it a little bit to get it to pop into place um, the kit I came with also has also came with locking uh, washers so make sure those are installed so the, the bolts don't back out on their own now as I said earlier I'm six foot four so once I get these um, tightened down finger tight then I rotate the handlebars forward quite a ways which I found uh, riding makes it a lot more enjoyable to ride um, I have long arms so with the handlebars rotated forward it's it's easier when I stand up um, I don't have any stress on the arms like I did with the, the lower handlebars that are pulled in closer so otherwise if you stand up while you're riding and the handlebars are tilted towards you you're you're hunched over and um, you're kind of pulling against the handlebars because they're too close to you so you have to, to maintain some um, um, you have to pull on the handlebars some in order to keep from going backwards because they're too far too close to you so I rotate the handlebars not all the way forward but significantly enough so I can tighten down all the bolts uh, on the back side of the handlebar and then torque them down and uh, that's that's pretty much it um, pretty smooth I found that this greatly increased the enjoyability of my riding and uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you.